have you ever wanted to edit a PDF file? Well, as you've probably noticed, you can't do it. If you go to view permissions there, there you go. You cannot edit the file content. So how do you edit it? We're going to show you today with a little bit of software how you can edit any PDF file or convert it into perhaps a Word file or a different type of file. Stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, PDF files aren't really designed to be edited, although in some cases you can, you have to purchase quite costly software. That's up until now. Today, we are gonna show you how you can get completely free software and be able to edit a PDF file, change virtually any of the text in it, how you can convert this to a Word file should you need to, absolutely free of charge. So as you can see here, I've got this PDF file. I'm scanning around in it. And if I want to change something here, if I want to delete something here or retype it, I can. I can just type it as if it was a word processing document. I can also, if I want to, I can also save it as a Word document, convert it into a Word document, just simply going into tools there and then into convert. And I've got all these different types of files I can convert. I can convert the PDF to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, a PNG, a JPEG, a text file, HTML, rich format, XML. I can even convert the other way too, although most programs can do that. I can convert from Word to PDF, Excel, image, PowerPoint, rich text file, or text directly into PDF. I can even compress the file to make it smaller, make it easier to email, make it easier to manage, easier to store, smaller to store. This Swiss Army knife of PDF, which at the moment is absolutely free, has loads of tools in it. I can merge the PDFs. I can merge two PDFs together. I can split PDFs. I can add signatures. I can even get it to read the current page or read all the pages or read from the current page. I can password protect it. I can also remove passwords if there's a password on there, but I do need to know the password to start with. Just so many things in this particular tool. So the software itself is PDF gear and at the moment it's completely free. So as you can see here, as I've said before, you can edit PDFs, convert them, sign, annotate, fill out PDFs, compress. You can even OCR PDF, that's optical character recognition so that it can actually recognize the characters within a document and uh, you can then edit them. Organize the PDF so you can change the pages, you can merge them, you can split them. But you're perhaps wondering, how do they do this for free when other companies charge you a fortune for the same facilities? So on their website, one of the questions is, is PDF gear really free and why is that? So in summary, it says PDF gear, the free and AI powered PDF editor is a newcomer in the PDF editing fields. Here you'll learn whether PDF gear is actually free and why it's free to use. So why is it free to use? Well, it says they're curious about why PDF gear is completely free, its safety and how we sustain it without charging. We've compiled some frequently asked questions about PDF gear on our detailed Q&A page. So the bottom line is, is PDF gear aren't going to say that they're going to be free forever. They've said in, in the future, most features will remain free, but there will be a fee for some advanced options. Paid options may include AI driven tools requiring cloud computing and special PDF conversion features. At the moment, basically, they are testing this software and they're asking you to help them test it, to give them feedback on how you're finding the software, give them feedback on any problems that you may have using the software, any feedback on what other features you'd like to see in the software. Now it's completely up to you whether you give them feedback or not, but they're giving you the opportunity to use this completely free 
and test it out for them for the time being. So far, everything I've done on here has been absolutely fine. So what I've done in this example is I've downloaded my printer's manual and perhaps there's a couple of bits in here that I don't like, I wanna edit. Well, literally you just scroll down, go into edit mode when you're ready to edit something and then select whether you wanna edit text, edit object, you can add text, you can add an image, you can put a link in there, a watermark, you can put page numbers in there, you can edit the header and footer, you can put a stamp or a signature. So I'm just gonna show you some basic editing now. So say if I wanted to just get rid of this section here where it says scan mode top of screen. All I do is I just go to edit text, little boxes get put around the text where you can edit. We click in there and we can just delete or we can edit so I can I can just change that to top of screen say for instance I can add words I can delete words in some cases you might find that things might move around like they have done at the moment but a little bit of playing around will get them back now one of the things I have found is most of the pictures we don't seem to be able to edit. Now, I think this is pretty much normal in most editors. You can add images in there. Like say, for instance, I was just gonna add an image on the, on the screen there. So yeah, I can add it, I can resize it to fit in, but I can't actually remove an image that I haven't put in myself, like these, for instance. It's very difficult. To, uh, to, to do that, if I go to edit object there, I can do some things, I can just try, just try deleting this. If I click trash, yeah, there you go. It, it has let me delete certain parts of the image and I can keep going in edit object, but not everything, unfortunately. This is where it falls down. But like I say, I think many other tools of this type also will fall down in this area. You've also got an option here, like I say, to convert. So if I go into tools, I can go to convert. And if I wanna convert this into a Word file, I can. I mean, it's telling me here, the document has been edited, please save the changes. So let's just click on the disk up there to save my changes and then click on convert, go to PDF to Word. And now it takes us to the editor and it asks us, do we wanna convert all the pages or do we just want to convert part of it? So they go range one to one, two, five. That's the number of pages. So say if I wanted to only convert pages one to 10, I can do that. It's going to extract text from the image files as well. And it's asking me what language there. So I've selected English or the system has selected English and it's going to save it as a docx file. We've got an advanced mode and that says this file will be converted online, which will take much more time. But for for most people you can leave that unticked all you do just click on convert and there you go that's now converting and hopefully in a few moments it should automatically open the location where it's been converted to and if i double click on that file it's going to open up in my case it's going to open up in libra office but if you've got word installed in your system it should open up in word and there you go that has now opened up in LibreOffice. And again, I can still go ahead and I can delete stuff, I can add stuff. And uh, then even if I want to later on, I can resave it as a PDF file. So where do I get this from? Where do I get this free software from? All you do is just go to the website pdfgear.com as it's shown on the screen. And in there, you've got an option there free download, just click on that and then follow the instructions on the screen. I hope you like this video and if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things, including my Amazon shop, which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buy in, subscribe, 
subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.